you pick one if you were to turn up, I'm just gonna... So surreal. Film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Selen? Um, I can sell in. I think that's a girl. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So yeah, I have not streamed for a while, so there's gonna be a lot. Uh, I should as well. Having a moment. Before I start. 
kind of I'm fresh and I haven't played one of my favorite videos of all time. I love so much. Such a great game. Uh, it's kind of like me, me playing the game, me and my We both my really enjoy it. So it's a bit of a safe go for a bit of a rough time and Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I actually do the process. I did. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I you can't can believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I'm... I'm... Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing out. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. They're not that good, Max. Jeez, it's like that. a lot. Very good at anything. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Hello, if you're joining the stream, we're playing. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. 
I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Sorry, she's being so... I know, teenage girls, I shouldn't... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Yeah, you're about right. Okay, so... I only want to show... Huh, this might make a cool shot. Oh, I think when you take photographs and like... It's pretty awesome. They do uh, purposely a little bit. What's the word? Oh my god, that's fun. A little bit. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your poor ex over black. Fucking up. Fucking pee. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, hang on. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Get that, but cool. Is it Kate? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Hi, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Okay, I probably mentioned before your world. I think it's an episode, but there is an episode where um, there might need to be a bit of mental health warning. Uh, I mean, I might break at some point, it won't get to that because it's, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 talk, we'll talk about it, but, uh, um, you can never I'm escape the lighthouse here. here. I get everything, also I want to try and try get all, all Whoa, all Mr. Stuff. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets bet pristine he digital is. images, but I, even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive, here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Huh. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. We all know. We all knew girls. We went to school. We were like that. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um... Do I have to? I just, I just don't, don't think, think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You're not gonna say anything else? I can leave? Can I leave? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. There's a reason you should be nervous around him. You didn't tell me how cute I was. I was about to. You are just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of her. This is best for everyone. So I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. It's just so weird to me because I I was used that in the last secondary school. She's so fucking and at college. And at uni. <laughs>
These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. To all of you, American girls, it's so sad to talk about Rachel when you know what happened. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. American girls, I'd like I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Be part of the world around you. Come on, you know. Driving a I am a shooter. by the seaside. Watching the world oh, from you. the bright side. Evan doesn't say much to me, but pretty funny. His oh, photos just, are very cool. cool. Alyssa is always texting, I, but like, she doesn't oh, hang out with a lot of people. Sorry, Alyssa is always oh, texting, oh, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. What about my jacket? I'm guessing it's like some kind of photographer. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Yeah. Dr. Uh, Dana talking to, I think his name is. Like, I mean, I've had friends who smoke, and it just. Maybe it's not your choice, but it's just when I'm walking around, I, I, it just makes me feel real comfortable. To, like, if I'm walking around, I can smoke. It to people who don't fall to. Oh, not about noxious man. It's real to come. It's just. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yeah. We all know girls who are what look are actually nice. I I've known girls who are actually quite nice. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. To be honest, she looks like she's been she... gone for months. Is this game set in October? I think so. So she's been missing for six months by this point. Don't need a PC, missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> Imagine a world without you. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. I wonder if there's some really good issues. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Yeah, I'd do it. Oh god, you know what I'm just gonna say? Okay. Is it people I haven't looked at, but I'm just gonna. American it. girls in the movies. No one can It's such a weird thing. Like, in, 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 our schools are not American like this. Like, they have uniforms. Like and we should have luck as a second year school. Nobody can see my meltdown. Um, except for they me. They weren't like. I don't think people really decorate them. I, I kind of just put some photos in my locker. Like, I, I was like one of the only people who bothered to do that. Like, I put pictures of like Darren Chris in my locker because I'm a sad piece of shit. Uh, but 
apart from that, people didn't really use their lockers except just to put their PE stuff in. Because obviously you didn't want to have to bring your PE kit to school and then bring it home and then bring it back. And and usually sometimes when I had PE, one day I had to have like a guitar lesson so I'd have to bring the guitar and my rucksack or my bag or whatever I was using at the time. So it was kind of just like, you know, it's just easy to just leave it in a locker. Um, but, so it's the only reason people used it at my school. The last, the last time, time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Still get immunized though. That's really important to get your, your jabs. This poster must drive people to have sex. Well, the actual level of bullying of, of Kate in this game is actually really disgusting. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Okay, I need to probably, um... I remember, I remember when somebody punched the alarm really last month. <laughs> At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. It's a blue the blue wings are practically special. glowing. I, I can like, almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Is it Rachel? Hi, if you're joining. It's cool, Nathan. So you've got me a Don't stress. You're, you're, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. If people, Wrong. You got if hella cash. America, this, That's my family, this not this me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor like, little rich kid. I know you've been pumping school, drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell I can everybody, everybody Nathan, Nathan Prescott, Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am oh. or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Oh. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to no. control me. No, no, you are going down. to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! I forgot he shot her. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. You still look like Chloe. Because she used to dye her hair. This is the best friend you. Now Kate is being hassled again. Abandoned me, but you know. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why Arvis? Uh, oh, because oh, of her okay. images of hopeless fate. I did it. Ooh. 
Can you I actually did it. Of a photographer who perfectly I'm a captured human the time machine. Black and white? Yeah. Anybody? Max, More? don't Can freak out. Harvest? Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process <laughs> that gave birth to the first self portraits? The Daguerrean process. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Alice class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave Max, portraits a sharp reflective like, style like a mirror. I don't now you're totally stuck half an hour. in the retro zone. <laughs> Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since oh. you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a process. French painter named Louise Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the dialogue in this the is Daguerrean so process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Yeah. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. The dialogue in this game is so cringe. Yes, like, Victoria, it's one of my favorite games, but the dialogue it could be so much better. Everybody in class. What are you waiting for? Go! Answer, I want to talk to Kate. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I'm very, very interested Kate, I think because I... I had my moment in the camera, I, and everybody should have that totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Oh, suck Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, Max. don't wait don't too wait long. Too long. John, John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Really Don't got let me stop. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be a good answer, mister. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's. Mm, John Lennon. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. He's Make sure you finish working on it by today. Him. I have faith in you. He looks a bit like Kamsky from Detroit. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. 
Right, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop fucking around now. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh my god, that little grump. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. I usually and I took a photo. In toilets or... Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck okay, I am right. or who you're messing around with. Okay, okay. action time. What are you doing? Uh, Come on, put that thing down! Don't I need a hammer to break it open. Oh God, okay, Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Take it, take it, take you are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever have missed your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever oh touch me God. again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Oh, I just saw a girl get shot, shot and then say her. Pick that up. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. She's so like. I was gonna say she's really calm, but she's hey, not. She's really. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of there. Hold on, Hold Max. On, Max. Come, Come back here. Back. <laughs> you look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating <laughs> pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. I've done or more have you done something future, wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, it's one of these decisions, isn't it? Okay. I am going to report Nathan because you should not have a gun on school grounds. I just saw Nathan I Prescott like a waving a gun around. Jesus, the amount of school shootings. Nathan in Prescott. You That's sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom Thing talking to, to himself with a gun. gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most, most honored, honored students. students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened It's always next? the privileged ones. The privileged then, white ones. Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you Thank for bringing, you bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. I Should I rewind and change, and change that, my though. story? I don't want to change it. Fuck him. <laughs> Look, I get that Nathan has issues, but also someone's walking around with a fucking gun out of school. Like... <laughs> You know, you would have put the safety of others first, and 
that's what I would do if I were Max. I would be like, you know what, sir? He's walking around, he's got a gun. You know. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Oh no, I didn't want to rewind the boobs. I, I could talk to some of these people, but like I kind of don't want to. Oh. Oh, Warren. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello, sorry, I'm running in. Uh, my camera will be ready. See you shortly. What are Kate and I been saying to each other? I love Kate, hang on. So uh, for tea, let's go. Okay, I better I'm get really, to my really dorm and grab that flash drive. I feel like I should mention that I'm extremely overprotective of Kate. Uh... Oh God. Ooh, gross. At least switch to E6. My mum and dad have E6. They've been on E6 since I was like 15. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. <laughs> There's just so much to do around here. Mm, no, I'm not going to sit and contemplate. I kind of want to keep going, so I don't want to keep on... Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a trade flip, you should walk on. Oh, uh, okay. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skateboard shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh, tree flip? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Crazy. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Yeah, until the pilgrims, uh, until the pilgrims killed the Native Americans. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yeah, I'll sign up. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Actual, have <laughs> the petition is going well. 
I think we'll hit our goal. I hope so. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. do like 17. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. About Rachel? What is the... It's a pretty dumb question. What is the legal age of consent to have sex in America? Because did, did they say that Rachel was... Shit. How old, how old is Rachel? Did they say did they, she, was, she was like... 19? I don't know, I just think it's so weird. What's up, Probably that's what I'm getting hung up. Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Yeah, why not? I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Uh-huh. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. What happened to her? So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she, she ran, ran away. away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Jay, thanks. Oh, that's a good posture. You should have at least taken off the bank. That must be so comfortable. Good, good. good. Best portrait ever. Wow, you're actually pretty young. You're a little bit weird. That was so case. cool. I'm glad I talked to him. Take more chances, Max. Take me forever if I sat and did everything. I'm gonna be honest. Like if I could be here for at least an hour just now, I'm sure. What's that? Oh, first thing. around here. I don't know what to do. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Okay. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. 
Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted, I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Bullying is not nice. I was one of those people who was obviously bullied at school, so. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Uh, Kappa? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. I did that That's one why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? No, it's not, not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. <laughs> These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Interesting. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew mm -hmm. exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her hey, vortex, vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. So this is actually ruining a lot of stuff in this game which she really hits home for me because... I need uh, to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Obviously, like I said, I was bullied at school. I still get bullied online as well, which is fun. Um, but yeah, right, the whole missing person thing. I've never actually known on, Logan, someone who's gone missing, but... My mum yeah. had a friend whose daughter was kidnapped and killed. It was actually a very, very famous, famous case. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. So although it's not something I've personally had to deal with, it is something... The Prescott Dormitory? No. Good lord, and... Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah, it's just like a really, really... <laughs> Okay. Football, Max. Big football. football. Step, Step away. away. Okay, you're a dick. Is that a squirrel? This is going to be too damn cute. At least it's not a cat picture. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. I'm always over Is there humanity. anything? Max, I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. I'm sorry. There's Kate. Looking sadder than usual. Mm. Oh. oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. No. no. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. To be honest, I, I can't judge anyone for their reading choice because I spent all of last summer <laughs> reading the How to Train Your Dragon books, so... Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Oh, 
look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. It's not even funny. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Fine. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh, what? I can't rewind that whole conversation then. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No, you can't. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just I want just to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Do you, do you understand English? Get lost. No. What are they doing? Are they still playing football? See if this works. I don't actually want to know how many calories I just ate. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. <laughs> okay. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Oh. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Oh, man. I would love to be a bitch. But, like... Don't, Don't say, say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. Hold that pose. <laughs> and no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. I know where you live. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Should I have done? Oh, I don't know. What happens if I can't? Oh, she, nah, you know what? Nah. It's Maybe I shouldn't have it. done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Oh. I'm gonna just stick with that decision. I know I could have rewound that, but you know what? It's not worth it. Okay. 
go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> pissed we took so long. Can I talk? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Mmm. So we are... Welcome to Black Hill. We are 219. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I don't know who that is. Who's 217? Who's 217? Welcome to Black Hill. Stella. Stella, you're my, you're my kind of person. <laughs> As if. Juliet, read this week's edition of the Bagwell Tome. Seriously, who cares? Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is Dane still is a cheerleader still at heart. Aww. Oh my god, that's what in here is. This well. girl this must have been popular. She's everywhere. everywhere. This is actually good advice. Hang on. So always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are, where you're going. Report any incident to the campus authorities. That's actually really good advice. I know this is like a really shitty school, but it's good advice. Okay. At least that's an alarm from this century. Be the oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. <laughs> but what's this poster really trying to tell me? Oh, I just do this one with a pair of tits. <laughs> Amazing. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Okay. Will bang. Okay, Jesus. this is just mean and stupid. No way, man. We're gonna change that. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. What's on my board? Nothing. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Really cool idea. I wish we could do that in my house. Just... <laughs> Obvious but true. I feel this. Oh, she didn't want a little teddy bear with her. That's so cute. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. No. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. <sighs> Max Caulfield really nice photo work. memorial wall. Oh, we have text, I think. I mean, on the game, not. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about that well honest student. Is this true? Principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, Mom. Mom, Mom, maybe. Maybe you should know the truth. Maybe. Oh, there's a power. Huh. Ahoy, Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Yeah. Yeah, Max, you are kind of a bit of a twat, I'm gonna be honest. Cartier-Bresson, do I know? Hamilton, the greatest. Does she have Hamilton? That's so cool. Mm. 
I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Don't you know I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. I wish Mom would do that. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. My parents didn't really approve of me enabling my drama habit into an old hood, if we're being honest. Should I feed? I'm gonna feed you. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Let's feed Lisa. Is that what she's called, Lisa? <laughs> I look so pathetic. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Wait, she has less friends than I do. Jesus. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. It looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your device so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. XOXOD. Who? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Like, I will put on TV shows in the background that I don't really care about. Like, I used to put friends on whenever I was drawing, just because I couldn't really give a toss about friends, but it was entertaining to listen to while I was drawing. So, you know, I, I, who, who watches? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, great. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. But like, yeah, who the fuck is watching films when they're studying? Like, unless it's a yeah, really, really boring what? film. Hey, Juliet. Like, is what? everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked you Dana in the room you? because we're cool. Mm, what'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Hmm. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Same. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, hmm. I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Yeah, doesn't shock me. Okay. <sighs> Which room was Victoria, Victoria? I can just leave that dorm room door in Jesus. Is that Simba? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups of all time club. Can I steal some stuff from her room just to be a total bitch? <laughs> Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. And it is also something that I would absolutely do. So I can't really judge. Ouch. 
Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Didn't put on mission statement? What's that mission statement? I'm curious. Um... Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Laptop? That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Who the hell has 857 friends on Facebook? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. What do I print? Oh. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Is this because we drugged her? And <laughs> before the store, I drugged her. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I didn't even fucking read the thing. I should have probably read it. I'm trying to do this like. Juliet, Juliet read this. Quick ish, but not too quick. Because I don't want to be like hanging around. Of but... course. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? Love me. And, and you do my laundry. my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Great, can you please put something a bit less revealing on, please? This is like the motherly side of me. Being Almost like... done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Yeah. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. I was never a cheerleader. I used to do dance though. But it's fun. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet, Juliet locked, locked me in my, me own, my room. own room. Real mature. Mm. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. Good. She has she everything. everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. No one's ever had a special flash drive about me. <laughs> this is both this is sad, sad and pathetic. And Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this, so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pissed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. Okay. Ooh, hello. Uh, Max, oh, Max, that's, that's mine. mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Okay, that was awkward. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Max, enough. But I could rewind There's and no make it up to her. Here, Max. So go. I said, please go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is there a quick way to do this? Hey, Dana. I had a rumor. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody it's... important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? 
Absolutely not. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to Sorry pry. To pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Mm -hmm. You sure? Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Sorry, Dana. I assume Dana kept the appointment. La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. <laughs> oh, it's something I would do. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh, Max, you're so cringy. What's on the flash? I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it, no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Warren G. <laughs> oh dear. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. She's a foul. So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And Girl, yes, Max, so terribly fingers. wrong. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Shit, man, you're okay, Dana. Jesus. Oh, crap. I don't regret telling on Nathan. He's a fucking prick. This shit. Ow! That <laughs> hurt. Damn. I better. Ouch. Poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Okay. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Okay. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're yeah. better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. That would be nice if the water blossomed Victoria into a nicer person. I'm the, kind of, I'm the type of person that could just get out of my phone and be like, if I saw a fucking broken window like that. I am that type of arsehole. Don't take Don't it out on the tree, tree, loser. <laughs> Is that Ra what was that? Rachel owes me money, you pay that bitch. Fucking yikes. Okay, we looked at that. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh God, um... Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, you nobody did. is bullying oh, anybody. anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. 
I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Absolutely not. Let's get involved. Let's be a nosy little bitch. That is what I would do. I would be a nosy, annoying little bitch. Streaming for she never did. I don't know how much time it's left on this one. This is actually just like a really really calming game to play given everything that's going on. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Uh that's I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Mm. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. See, guys like that, they're trash. You don't need them. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Yeah, someone really wants her found, huh? Um... Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. It is, I know that's Chloe's. Chloe that is fucked up. Oh, uh, ooh. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. <laughs> I sometimes call my dog Cujo. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I'm so dirty. <laughs> I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Bit of a niche, okay. Oh, that was really bright when I was looking at that. That was, oh. So I'm curious, how many, okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of photos to take. Um, okay. Yo, Max, check it out. Too bad those posters will be trashed and ignored. I'm gonna just... Warren's car. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Oh Check out my gosh, new wheels. <laughs> cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Mm -hmm. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. I wouldn't. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh, flash drive? The movie booty. 
Yeah, thanks. thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Mm. Yeah. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Uh. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Oh Plus, so bathed with breath. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, no. you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You, you should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're, uh, telling, you're telling me you. what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not oh. my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, no, I got this! Ryan, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! <sighs> okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Jesus. Man, Nathan Prescott is that? messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Step back. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. I so what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend only really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah. Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Mm. I've never been to a Seattle, but okay. I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. Please, girl. You came you back can. for Blackwell Academy. Yeah. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. 
Yeah, how, how do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Not everything changes. Serious? Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can. I always say that, by the way. Whenever something in my computer, like my house doesn't work, I'm like, it took a shit. Like, this is really random, but like my laptop, like, if my laptop decides to close down for no reason, I'm like, ugh, my, my laptop is taking a fucking shit. You know what I mean? It's, so I just take a dump and not work and and yeah, that's just right. Fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <sighs> Welcome home, Max. This is really, really painful for me to play because like I said, I have a best friend who we we did play this sort of together. We had conversations about it. Yeah, it's just a little bit weird because. Yeah. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. It's just like really, really weird to play it. Because like, I look at Chloe, I'm like, oh, my best friend is like that. And then I'm like, oh. Right, my best friend decided to take a shit, shall we say, and be a total whatever. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Mm. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. It's just so weird playing this. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Miss you, wish you were here. Sweet. We had such a blast drawing these together. It's just like really, really weird playing this and looking back on my own kind of. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student when she cared. Wait, Blackwell Academy, Chloe Price, 80 plus absences? Jesus, Chloe. Which class was she? She was most absent from life skills and maths. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just do that. Oh, this oh, is a this flashback is to you. Our super secret closet lair. To be honest, my room, at the moment, is a bit tidier than this because we've been trying to keep it a bit tidy during the quarantine, but, you know, it usually it's Chloe totally just changed her style. I barely recognized her. My room is super messy. It's Chloe I was always taller than me. So. 
We made her dad keep track of her height. Oh, that's depressing. I'm also very short, so. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Not in an ashtray. That's always good to have. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? I party all night. Party all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. Me. <laughs> okay. So tell me. I take photos. I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. <laughs> it's here, Max. Look a little harder. She's so fucking sassy, Jesus. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Doesn't she just? I think this junk swallowed her discs. The thing is, how could you think Chloe is straight when you see her room? I mean, this is before we go into like any of the romance. I mean, she's got like, what, that's one pair of tits there, another pair of tits, it's like a pinup. That looks like an alien poster in a way. Do you know what I'm saying? She's got like loads of... That's two pairs of tits, there's like another pair of tits there, like a pinup poster. I'm absolutely not complaining, by the way. I am all for Chloe having numerous pictures of naked When's the last her? time I had to dig through Chloe's crap? If that's what gets her going, then you do you, Chloe. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I just don't know how you'd look at Chloe in her bedroom and be like, yeah, no, she's straight. Like, there is no way Chloe is straight if you've seen her bedroom. And I say that as, you know. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14, we were best friends. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She can not wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Ooh, Something okay. happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? 
like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? That's depressing. Jesus, Chloe. Let's hear that CD. I'm sorry, Chloe. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, let's put the CD in. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Understandable. I should have bought Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Sight of the camera. <laughs> Bless him. Just take a moment to just let it all sink in. We're going quite. Jesus. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Quite Chloe. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I used to take those when I was first diagnosed with my depression. I was like 14, 15. They gave me fluoxetine. I think I took them until like... But I think I was like in sick form when I stopped taking them. Obviously, I would weaned off of them properly. Uh, but I like and Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. But then I, uh... Still had depression. <laughs> a few years later, so they were like, Yeah, no, we're just gonna put you on search on you now. Because obviously the Fox team wasn't working. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. Which, like, I mean, I suppose you have to find the right medication. Like, the treatment won't be right for everyone. You know, people, different people need... This must be Chloe's parents' room. Shit. Man, I am nosy today. That's just like a fucking dead bird there. 
Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Act or die, a 21st century survival. I'm really not interested. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Do I have to shut the window to keep it in here or something? Or like. It's just gonna fucking die if I try to shoot it out or something. Aw, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Oh, no, he is a douche. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Joyce still Tomorrow works at the diner. About, uh, and uh, Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. What I was just saying, I was like, it, obviously treatment, people need different treatment and like, you know, I personally found that like counselling and therapy didn't really help me at all. Like I, I think I went to CAMS and, and I was with CAMS until just after I'd done my GCSE, I think it was, and then my therapist dumped me. In other words, she was like, well, I feel like you're making good progress, even though you're still self-mutilating and suicidal. But I'm going to give us the six weeks and then you're done. So, you know, I'm still a bit angry about that because she was the only competent one I've had. Joyce, Joyce looks, looks happy. happy. Chloe's I'm stepdad happy. might not be a douchebag after all. My last counsellor uh -oh. was... The prices are late on their bills. My last counselor was okayish. It was basically, to be fair, I was a bit of a uh, shit patient, shall we say, because I was not very good at timekeeping. But there came like a point where I was, I was late one day, and so it was like, okay, I'm late, but I've just got here. Um, it was very cold outside and I was getting over a cold so I said to the receptionist I know she's not going to see me now because I'm way late and she's got other people to see and blah blah blah, blah. but because it's cold and I've just checked the bus app and my bus isn't coming for another 20 minutes can I maybe just sit here and then I will leave and the receptionist was cool with that she was like yeah 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 you know it, I, I don't want you going outside it's cold and uh, therapist then Nope. nope. Someone, Someone locked it from the other side. Then walked past, saw me in the waiting room, obviously waiting, and uh, was like, "Doesn't look like the price family is rolling in dough these days." Took me to a private room and started screaming at me about how, "Oh, I'm not seeing you. You have some nerve." And it was only when I said to her, "I asked the receptionist if I could wait until my bus came," she was like, "Well, you still." Now this she is the Chloe I here. remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Did I miss something? Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling yeah, and laughing. Yeah, it's just like, oh god, I, I actually so much really anymore. liked her as well. It was just, she was such a fucking... I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joyce still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Yeah, that's just my little story, if anyone who sees this. <laughs> Chloe, Jesus. If you're listening, I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Told you. Stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Oof. I 
find out where you want to go outside. But yeah, like, I don't know. I just hey, I remember that stain. Like, Chloe me. and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. They're obviously prepared for coronavirus. Check out the muscle car. <laughs> Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. And a dick. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Yeah, that's a bit weird. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. the end of this episode and then I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, these are these way, are too, way big. too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. What the? the Chloe's Chloe stepdad, stepdad actually, actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? I don't think they do. Wait, that's the bedroom. That's downstairs. Do they have the clothes room? That's down here, obviously. That's the living room? That's the back garden. And that's the front. That's upstairs. I have one in Chloe's room, which is a little bit weird, but... Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras? Jesus Christ. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except, I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Okay, let me see what we got. This episode is actually kind of slow compared to some of the others. <laughs> yes, you have mad skills, Max. <sighs> yeah, ooh, a gun Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? <sighs> You've got to be shitting me. Jesus. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. You just took he a wants to put surveillance cameras up. all over the school? It's a little weird. How paranoid can you get? Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Just had it washed on it. I'm gonna have to like go to the kitchen and then just scrub that off because I don't want to have to put that in the wash again. So, I can't fix this thing. 
Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. Mm -hmm. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> that cringy dancing. <laughs> this day couldn't get any stranger. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Okay. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that? Song? Okay, getting serious. Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. changing. Is, that okay? Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe. Uh, I'm coming. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. Oh. Okay. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. My bra. I'm not screwing around, stuck. soldier. Chloe, open this door. Oh. Shit, shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, calm down. My dad, we'll do I'd that probably too. punch him if he was like this. I know that's a stab dab, but. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Who is it? Uh... Okay, hang on. 
I mean, he already hates me. Let's just step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. He's such a dick. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Sister? Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. Um, you trust yeah. Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Mm -hmm. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Bitch, I don't actually give a fuck. Let's just go. Let's go. Oh, I should have actually apologized to Chloe first. Oops. Oops. So if I remember correctly, this is like the very end of this episode. So, like I said, I'm gonna go to the end of this episode. And then I'm gonna tune out for the next time. Fucking exhausted. I'm not even doing anything. I'm literally just fucking exhausted. It's actually very bright as well. Jeez. Isn't oh, this awesome guy. sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slowpoke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Can you dream about being Whoa. here? This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Uh-huh. Weird, huh? Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. Uh... I got you. I got it. There's one more as well, wasn't there? There was sunset. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe it's up the top. I don't know. People can be such pigs. Oh, agreed. I went lip picking during the summer. They haven't year. updated this like, sign since the 1980s. Last year, and I found like a, a, a what's the a bush? And it was filled with like fox shit, like some like a fox and that you might have been fox shit. I don't know. It looked like fox shit, but it was like I picked it up and I thought it was human shit, and I was so disgusted. Oh, no, you're worried about me. Oh Jesus. Oh. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Stop. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. 
Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Cool. How long has that been here? You don't want to be alone. Have a seat, Pete. Okay. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm step sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Mm. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No mm. wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Nathan's What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who says bad shit cut with laxative. Fuck. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? what? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Jesus. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to, just you. to you. Oh, good oh, thing good. you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh, I didn't know 
for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. <laughs> Stop. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like, it's like 80, 80 degrees. degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything.
Jesus, that was intense. <laughs> that was intense. Okay, I have forgotten how to get up. Here we go. So I wanted to take a look at the choices. So. 65% reported Nathan. Okay, so we did the right thing there. 34% <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a horrible person. Um, 82% interviewing Dalmar, okay, good. Um, okay, so... Quite a lot of people came out of hiding to intervene. A lot of people stayed hidden. A lot of people took the blame as well, so it's kind of... 35% let Daniel draw your portrait. I suppose this is all stuff that is sort of off to the side, so you wouldn't necessarily see it most of the time. Uh, you signed Miss Grant's petition. 76% helped Alyssa. 45% erased the insults. Good. 65% watered your plant. Well, we did touch Dana's test, but we, you know, rewind it afterwards. You reorganised Victoria's photos. You wrote on a dirty RV. You saved the bird. You didn't break Chloe's snow, but we did, but we, we rewound, obviously. You left evidence. Oh, God. You read David's files. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, so this did download all the episodes, I'm, I'm good at that, so... Awesome! Do I have friends? Do I... how do I press friends? Do I have any friends? I have absolutely fuck all friends. I played this game with friends. I do have friends on here. None of them have played this, apparently. I'm just- I don't know what half these things are. I know people probably don't watch this, but like, 
just in case anyone does happen to come across my channel or whatever, I, I, I want to make sure anyone who does happen across my channel is safe. Um, and because the next episode, I do remember there is an episode, I think it is the next one, that involves themes of suicide. Uh, especially given that, you know, as someone who has, who is struggling with mental illness, I can attest to the fact that being cooped up inside and, you know, it has a negative effect on your mental health and I want to I'm gonna try and make sure that the next stream I do thing, like I give a hotline or like a charity or whatever, uh, because I know that if I was watching someone, even if they weren't particularly popular, I would still appreciate the effort, so I, I definitely want to do that. Um, but you know, that aside, um, if you are watching this live or if you are watching it non, you know, just as a playback. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's something I'm still getting used to, but um, yeah. Okay, so uh, it was awesome to sit down and stream again. It was a little bit, a little bit last minute. I didn't think I was gonna do it. I was gonna play some games on my Xbox and just, you know, I was gonna play some GTA Five, but. You know, I'm gonna just do this because I haven't streamed for a while and I thought it'd be nice. So, I, this is also one of the games I got for my birthday, and that was nearly three months ago. And I still haven't opened I still had to put it in, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just do it. So, yeah, um, thanks for joining me and listening to my rambling and my ridiculous chat. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe, that you're washing your hands, that yourself are facing, that you're keeping yourself and your family safe. Um, and yeah, if you ever need someone to talk to, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a stranger on the internet, but I'm, I'm happy to listen to people talk. I'm happy, I'm not very good at giving advice, I don't think, but I, I'm happy to listen sometimes. Just being able to vent your feelings can be helpful. So yeah, if you ever feel like you need to vent your feelings, um, if you go into my channel info, you can see my social media. You don't have to follow me. I'm not saying follow me, that would be nice, but if you ever just want to chat, I have a Tumblr, I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, I'm happy to chat on any of those, so please feel free to, to chat with me if, if you ever feel the need to. Um, the Instagram one I need to update, the Instagram's wrong because I've since changed the name of my Instagram account. Um, so it it the old name for my Instagram was the same as on this account, it was Megan's Nippler, but um my Instagram is now underneath of Demons and Dust. Um Demons is spelled a little bit weirdly, so I'll have to update that. But yeah, hope you guys are well and uh I will see you next time.